Okay, so let's get started. Today, we're going to talk about how to use Google Photos. So what is Google Photos? It's an app created by Google that is available on every smartphone device. It allows for you to safely store photos, videos, and other sources of media on the app. This can be used to exchange photos from one smartphone to the other. So we will go over four topics today. The first one will be about creating a Google account. So if you do not have an active Google account, be sure to quickly sign up for one on the google.com website. So the second one is installing Google Photos. You must install the Google Photos application by locating the phone's app store. The third topic will be how to use Google Photos. You will learn how to sign into and out of Google Photos on your mobile device. And then the fourth topic will be using Google Photo features. You will learn how to use the multiple features available to you on Google Photos, such as saving photos, videos, and etc. So our first topic is creating a Google account. Creating a Google account will allow you to use any Google service or application and all the information will be saved and shared between those apps. For example, those with a Google account are able to sign up to Gmail, which is one of the most popular email services in the world. So this is about how to create a Google account. So I assume most of you may have a Google account, but let's look at how we do it for new users. You may sign up for a Google account on any device, such as on computers and on mobile devices. You must first locate and go to the google.com website. On iPhone, you must first locate and tap on the Safari application. Searching for Google. Once here, you must tap on the search bar located towards the bottom of the screen. Once tapped, you must type google.com into the search bar in order to successfully get to the website. Signing up for Google. Once here, find and tap on the bright blue sign in button located on the top right corner of the screen. You will be taken to another screen. Once here, you may tap on the create account button and successfully create your Google account by following the steps. Once you create your account, you can install Google Photos. You can now start to use all of the Google services such as Gmail, Google Photos, etc. In order to get these applications, you must go into the devices app store. Installing Google Photos. Once at the phone's home screen, you must locate the bright blue App Store logo. This will enable you to find various applications such as Google Photos. Once opened, locate the search logo towards the bottom right-hand side of the screen. The logo will show you a magnifying glass. Installing Google Photos. You will be brought to a new screen. Once here, tap on the search bar located towards the top of the screen. This will bring up the phone's keyboard. Type Google Photos into the keyboard and tap on the bright blue search button located on the bottom right hand side of the keyboard. You will be brought to a new screen. Once searched, you will notice a wide variety of apps as well as the Google Photos app. Locate and tap on the Google Photos application in order to successfully install it. You will be brought to a new screen. This will show Google Photos and a description of what the application can do. In order to install, tap on the blue Get button. Once successfully installed, you will notice a bright blue Open button. In order to access the application, tap on the open button in order to open Google Photos. You will be taken into Google Photos. Let's look at how to log into Google Photos. Once inside the Google Photos application, you must tap on the sign in button. Once tapped, the application will allow you to successfully sign into Google Photos with your google.com account. 
allowing for you to use Google Photos effectively. Now let's look at how to use Google Photos. Welcome to Google Photos. Once successfully logged in, you will be taken to the Google Photos application with all of its features. So there are a couple of features that we will discuss on this slide. The first one is sync favorites. These are photos that are marked as a favorite. These will be automatically stored in a separate but safe folder. These photos will span between all Apple and iPhone devices. Uh, the next one is Google One. This is a monthly membership that is available for any person who uses Google Photos. The charge is relatively cheap. It's about $199 USD a month or $275 Canadian dollars a month. This purchase allows for an additional storage to be added to your Google Photos account, which allows for more storage for photos and videos. So the third feature is partner accounts. These allow for a second person to be able to view all of your photos, videos, and any important memory that you want to share. You are in total control and will be able to limit what the partner will be able to see and do. The fourth feature is free up space. There are features built into Google Photos that help with maintaining storage and to help with getting rid of duplicate photos. You will be able to check how much storage you have used and will be allowed to free up space through a feature if activated. How to use Google Photos? Now you can begin to scroll throughout the various settings. However, there is a setting that should be activated immediately once opening the application. And this setting is the backup feature. To find the settings tab, find the circle icon located on the top right hand side of the screen and tap on it. This will bring up the settings tab as well as other options. What's the backup feature? This allows for your phone to automatically store any photos, videos or general screenshots taken and they will be stored on the Google Photos app. Google Photos offers more storage for free for your photos and videos. If your iPhone happens to have full storage, you may be able to store extra photos or videos onto Google Photos for safekeeping. This also allows for you to store and send photos easily throughout various devices. For example, a photo stored on Google Photos through your iPhone will be accessible on your computer as well. This is the settings tab. In order to active the backup feature, you must locate the turn on backup button located on the settings tab and tap on it. It will ask you if you either want original quality or storage save options. This is completely optional. You may choose whatever you prefer. Once satisfied, tap on the bright blue confirm button to activate backup. Once you successfully activated the backup feature, you will need to return back to the settings tab and tap on finish setup button located towards the bottom of the screen. Tapping on the finish setup button will allow for you to activate and understand all of the various settings available to you on the Google Photos application. Thank you very much for listening. If you'd like to learn this lesson with the Cyber Seniors Mentor, call uh, this number to register for a one-on-one -on -one phone session. Thank you.